Police tell us 11 people were arrested in the scenic city last night. This is video from last night. We're told the charges ranged from disorderly conduct and blocking a highway to resisting arrest. We followed it right here on Channel 3. Protests centered near Coolidge Park at Fraser Avenue and then moved into downtown across the Walnut Street Bridge. This afternoon, it was a different story on the same topic. Dozens more people coming together downtown with more to say. The first gathering was at the Hamilton County Courthouse. Channel 3's Mary Frances Hoots is live from Coolidge Park right now with more on today's protests. Mary Frances, what's been the mood of the protesters so far today? Well, Calvin, the mood of the protesters at the courthouse, for the most part, it was actually, it was all, it was a peaceful protest. There was, whenever we arrived around 1.30, there was already a decent crowd there, and then it got up to probably more than 100 people, and it mainly was a woman on a megaphone, you know, getting passionate, sending messages out there with uh, the protesters responding with chants, things like, no justice, no peace, or I can't breathe. And we are at a protest, like you said, in Coolidge Park right now. It has been going on. There's been a woman on a megaphone, as you can see behind me. I don't know if you can zoom in there, Sam. Um, for the majority of the time, it has been the same people on the megaphone, and it's been really calm here. They have broken out in a few chants whenever they put the megaphone down, but for the most part, it's just signs. People gathered. We've been here for more than an hour, and it's grown. I would say there's definitely more than 100 people here, probably a couple hundred, but it was just like um, yesterday at 6 o'clock whenever you guys took us live. It uh, wasn't nearly the size it was whenever we were out there all night long, but at the protest um, earlier today, I did speak to a protester and there was no police at that protest. And I said, well, if it turns out like it was last night and their police are there, what is the message you want to get across? And this is what he said. I just want them to come and, and realize we, we want to be peaceful. Hear us out. Talk to us. Don't just stand there and be silent. Talk to the people here. What can we do to be more involved with the community? Uh, and then re receive that, you know what I mean? And then tell them, hey, this is what we want to do to help you guys. Don't just stand there with your hands behind your back. And there has not been, as far as I am concerned, as I have seen, there has not been police here yet. But again, the same story as yesterday when we were on the Walnut Street Bridge at 6. There weren't any police. Um, we are told that they will be coming here at some point tonight. But I want to touch on something from Mayor Andy Burke. We, had, we heard from him about 24 hours ago with this tweet. This is the only... Um, tweet we saw in the last 24 hours. It says, I have been overwhelmed with anger and disappointment over the killing of George, George Floyd. Today, Chad Nugans came out to express outrage at systematic racism and the destruction it brings. I appreciate everyone who showed up, spoke out, and peacefully said what needs to be said. And then we reached out to the mayor's office, and we just heard back moments before the show, and this is the statement we received back, this is the only thing that we have heard. We encourage everyone in Chattanooga to exercise their First Amendment rights and express themselves in a safe way. So that is the only thing that we have heard from the mayor's office. And um, if you just want to take a look, uh, that woman is still on the megaphone sending messages out. You have a lot of signs. And Sam, if you just want to zoom in on a few of those signs, we have racism is the real virus. Um, which is against white, white supremacy and police terror. And so this is just the beginning of the protest. Again, we'll be out here all night as long as it goes on and be bringing you guys that coverage. Calvin, back to you. Mary Francis, very quickly, is there any expectation that this protest will continue into tonight like last night's did? Um, police, I did talk with the spokesperson for the Chattanooga Police Department moments before this as well. He says they don't, they will be patrolling out as long as needed to be if it, that happens like it is last night and it goes into the late hours of the night and into the morning. They'll be here as long as the need is there. Okay, thank you very much, Mayor Francis, who's reporting from downtown.